usually this is the part I say, this is a cartoon conspiracy theory, do not take it seriously. But today, oh no, today I would take it serious because I have proof of my theory. I legitimately will believe, not make you believe, if my theory is true. It's all about the planner's family, RNG clan, and Pops is a ninja. Now let's get started for real. My name is Retro, this is the first time my channel used to review cartoon series, anime series. So what's up in Computer Random? And today we're going to talk about a conspiracy theory that I like to call The Planners Are a Ninja Clan. The reason why I think of this is what happened on the True Cops episode. It's all about when Key Andrews talking about what happened to the magic box, what his family were basically taken over land by land by this magic box, but suddenly it sort of disappeared, like this black shadow took it away. A completely different thing about Marcy to explain how she understood the magic box and how it works because this sort of book dropped in her lap in the library. But once more, a black shadow just dropped it quickly so fast you kind of missed it. And that kind of made me think a little bit more about Pops. I don't know you, but remember Pops has his own farmland. In the farmland, they have a sort of lair down below who has all this sort of tools and equipment. The family legacy, in a way, that you see them actually they become more than farmers. They were explorers, fighters, doctors. But everything sort of leads to sort of kind of ninja things you need to become a ninja. And it sounds kind of weird. Yeah, I understand. But I, usually I thought, oh, I'm just being crazy, right? I'm just being insane. But no, there are more things to it, especially Pops. Think about this. Remember the episode that Anne and Spray lost the snail for a race in that trying to race the other guy in a secret sort of carnival race so we get the snail back? But you realize the other guy who was technically Pops in disguise. That's sort of another ninja theme, because ninjas do have disguises to get in and get out certain places. And you think, oh, that's just easy. That's just sort of a gag for a cartoon. That's why I thought it first. But the more I keep thinking, the more Pops does sort of ninja things out of the open while people are actually realizing. Another good point is when Pops has to sort of cover his face. There's, I don't remember what episode it was, but it's one of those things he has sort of the ninja kind of hat, I'm not a ninja cat, a ninja sort of cover face that sort of had to cover your 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 top chin, your in your forehead, but you just see your eyes. Yeah, I thought that's sort of a cliche sort of anime because it's amphibia. Everything in amphibia is sort of inspired by anime because they do have sort of ninja jokes about that. And the more you understand about ninja things, that little thing you wrap up in your head, that takes actually skill and practice to tie in your whole face because that little scarf they use for their faces, that actually is basically 12, about 10 or 5 feet long, and they're very technical how you're supposed to wear it on your face. You have to serve multiple steps. The only way you do that, only way you have that, if you have sort of training or understand sort of the ninja skill skills to actually use that because the scarf ninja is very useful for multiple things. One for covering your face, one to tie knots, one to use it for maybe traps, or anything able to use a scarf being creative. Now, to this point, do I yet convince you? Probably not. This next thing, or maybe two things, because these two things could actually make sense so much if you understand ninja history. Now, one of the things is the frog. The frog are very well known with ninjas. The reason why, if you know your ninja lore, and I do not mean Hollywood or gaming lore of ninjas, I mean legitimately ninja history, that is Jiraiya, the first ninja man who kind of understood, created the tactical, the mythical, and the legend of ninja, he is, was trained by frogs to be a ninja. And yes, sounds crazy, but Jiraiya is a true person. And yes, I do mean Jiraiya from that character from Naruto. He is actually a base on a true story and a true man about being trained by frogs. But if you don't believe me, just Google it. 
or I have to recommend a YouTuber who is basically a history above of nature will be Gaiji. Watch his video. He has a good video about Jiraiya, the real Jiraiya versus the Naruto Jiraiya. How the differences and similar they actually are in how accurate or nature really is. That's what I mean. This is trippy, but it's just so hand to hand, so on the nose. You cannot deny this is just too coincidental. Way too much. I mean, it's cool to coincidental if two people wear the same shirt. But it's not coincidental when 10 people wear the same shirt. You have to realize something is off here. Why a lot of people have the same shirt? Something has to be going on. And on top of all this, this is the second thing I meant when this is too on the nose in the very beginning. That is, uh, the frogs are farmers. Because farmers are the basic, the very thing of a ninja wearing disguises. Because Farmers are able to go everywhere. They live to go to in the in the valley and come back while raising in suspicions because you're a farmer. Of course, you're trying to sell your product. Of course, you go inside the castle to see if the king wants it. I mean, who would I not trust a farmer? It's just a farmer, and that's why the reason why ninjas like to sort of pretending to be farmers to get information or at least get close to the assassination they target to actually kill off. So. We think it more. Do I sound crazy? Do I sound completely mad? Did I believe the planner are Ninja Clan? No, I don't. I feel this is probably the reason why they decided the whole idea to be frogs because frogs are nature are well known to be the same thing. Sort of inspired from each other. You need a ninja and a frog hand to hand if you know your ninja lore. So you see what I mean? This is too Coincidental. I know I'm trying to repeat myself, but I'm trying to plant this on your head. Anyway, but one thing I could easily be wrong because this is a show, they easily just be coincidental, but at the same time, maybe they want to, maybe decide to not to continue the ninja thing all season three and make up a different story. But what's more, it's kind of obvious. It's something that I hoped could be true. I don't know. But at the same time, I can see I probably have me one plot hole of my theory that Pops didn't know. You have all this gear down below the farm. He always thought the farmers being farmers. I mean, that's what the planner are. Just farmers. Always been told. But at the same time, maybe was trained. But he never told why he started doing this sort of unusual thing when he growing up. Maybe his family wanted to tell him that he was a ninja, but he's waiting to the right time to tell them till they actually die off. Or it could be anything else. Maybe he was sort of not selected in the family to know this information just because to make him safe. But what's more, I don't know. This could be anything, but I just love this idea. I hope they actually do this season 3. If not, I'd be still okay because this is just so much fun and to think about. I don't know you. Now, I have one question. Do you think my theory holds water? Tell me down below. Let me know. I got really nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.